can you, you know, it's obviously we can, we can dig into the details by reading the book, but I'm wondering if you can give us sort of a 30,000 foot overview sure. of what, what this automation flywheel is and why it's so important for somebody who wants to automate, um, you know, th th tasks that that's, that's making them unproductive. Sure. So the automation flywheel is a, is a, obviously it's a flywheel. So it's, it starts slowly, but, uh, it gains momentum and, uh, you know, helps you not lose energy. It's a process of continuous improvement. It's not just something you do once. It's not just something, it's not a project you do, you know, for three months and then, Hey, everything is automated. Let's stop uh, doing this. It's a process of automation, uh, continuous improvement. And it has three steps, uh, divide and conquer, uh, design and implement and refine and iterate. Um, so on the, on the first step, divide and conquer is about understanding how you are spending your time and really understanding your workflows. Mm. And so how do you understand how you, how you spend your time on, um, like and you're, and, and I recommend. And if I could just is, say, like, it's not just understanding your workflows, but it's it's mapping it out in advance, right? Like, yes. you can't. You're you're big in this book by 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 emphasizing that you, until you figure out what you want to automate, you can't automate. You don't just say automate, right? You have to know exactly. what you want to do, and then you have to map it out. Yeah, that's the thing about busy work. It's just there's just so many things going on. It's very confusing. Uh, mm -hmm. It's like the my email inbox before. Like, there's just you know thousands of emails, and uh, it's just is to get like uh, demoralized and like, you know, you think that there's no solution for it, but mm. once you actually really dig into it, like really look into like what's going on, uh, it, once you take the time, you can actually see what's going on. And that's one of the tools I recommend in the book, which I call the time audit. So what you can do, you do is like, you can use your phone, uh, phone on your phone's clock app to like set alarms every hour. So every top of the hour, you have a spreadsheet and you put down like what, how you spend your last hour uh, with, and like you don't have to really enter like every single uh, minute, but you can actually spend like most of that hour was spent by you know doing this or doing right. that. So at the end of the week, you have the spreadsheet full of uh, your your like a map of how you spend your time on. Sure. And and then what you do is you ask yourself two questions. What should I spend my time on and what shouldn't I might spend my time on? And the second question is more important because yeah. really like those things that you are spending your time on that you shouldn't be spending your time on are things that tap your energy, uh, tap your time. You know, uh, it's just uh, like if you could like get rid of them, like you can actually spend your time, more of your time on things that matter. 